Hi friends, it's Jess and welcome back to another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. Where is my intro? Where is my intro? <laughs> uh, this week we have something fun for you. We have a bright neon white milky tumbler. I think these are gorgeous, great for summer, great colors, and they really catch your eye. So you guys want to learn how to make this? Let's get started. All right, guys, come be a part of our amazing Facebook group, Misfit Makers. It's really a wonderful crafting community. Also, check out our website. And thank you so much to all of our Patreon members. Your support means the world to us. All right, we're going to jump right in to this tutorial. Today, I'm using a 32-ounce plump from Steel Magnolia. And I spray painted my tumbler in a swirl pattern in the same colors of glitter that I am using. All Rust-Oleum colors here, blue, green, purple, orange, yellow, just in a nice swirl pattern. If you're having trouble with your swirl pattern, I can post a separate tutorial on just spray painting your tumbler. Okay, so here I am mixing 5 mLs of epoxy, and we are using the epoxy method to apply our glitter. Anything over two colors, I always do the epoxy method. It would almost be kind of impossible to do any other method like Mod Podge or spray adhesive if you're using more than two colors because it's going to dry so fast on you. We're gonna go in and do a nice even coat of our epoxy all the way around our tumbler. So really spread that epoxy out. You do not need a lot, okay? I mixed five mLs and we didn't even use half of that. And this tumbler is huge. Do not oversaturate your tumbler with epoxy because you're going to waste so much glitter. That glitter is going to soak through that epoxy and you're going to have to keep reapplying, reapplying, reapplying because that glitter is just going to soak right through. So less is more. Okay, our first color we're going to go in with is Bejeweled, and I'm doing a solid line right across my spray-painted blue section. I start with my baseline, my guide, my guideline, so then I know where to ombre off of. Once I have my guideline line on there, I'm going to ombre each way. I'm going to ombre into the purple, and then I'm going to ombre the other way into the green so we can move on to our next color. All right, grab your next color, either to your left or to your right, whichever way you prefer. I like to turn my cup counterclockwise. So we're going to go in with Kermit Wazowski from PG Olive. Again, I'm going to create, create that guideline, and I'm going to create that guideline in my blue ombre, okay? So right on top of where my blue is ombreing out, I'm going to add my green. Once I have that guideline down, I am then going to ombre into that blue, doing nice light tapping. Just tap, tap, tap. Go easy. Take your time. You don't need to be speed racer. You want to create a nice ombre and really blend those colors together. Then I'm going to do the same thing, ombreing out into my next color, which is orange. And we're just going to do this all the way around the cup. Now, if you don't have if your colors aren't ombreing perfect like you had wished that's okay some colors are easier some glitter companies are easier to ombre than others some just blend really nice um it, when we add that milky part it's really going to cover any flaws or any color blending if you had any problems with that it's it will cover that so don't freak out Next color I am grabbing is Saint Jude. This is a gorgeous yellow. All these colors I'm using today in my color palette, these are like my go-to colors from Peachy. So I would definitely recommend them 10 out of 10. Same thing though, we're just gonna make that guideline, then ombre into our green, and then we're gonna ombre out. And the next color will be orange. This orange color <laughs> is Saint Jude. Julius. <laughs> I think it's pronounced St. Julius with a J, but I'm giving it a little flair. St. Julius. Okay, anywho, moving on. So create your guideline, same thing, ombre in, ombre out, all the way around your cup. Okay, watch me. We only have a couple more colors to go. 
Um, and then that's it, guys. It turns out gorgeous. You don't even have to add the milky part to this. You could just leave it like it is. You can go in and add leopard spots. You can, you know what other, you know what other way I think is really cute is when people do like a black Milky Way. Ooh. Um, so just put your spin on it. Do whatever you want to create. But I just, I love this color palette together. All right, be a little mindful on your sections. So my sections are like an inch and a half to two inches wide. And you want to be mindful of how many colors you're using and how big your sections are because you don't want all your sections an inch and a half, two inches, and then you get around to your last color and then you have like this tiny little slither of a section left. So be just be mindful when you're when you start adding on your colors. If you're trying to put like 14 colors on, well then your sections need to be really small so you can fit all your colors. Now if you get all the way around your cup and you just don't have enough room for your last color don't put it on there don't, it's okay like you don't have to I like to have more colors down on my table like I grabbed seven colors and I knew okay if I don't have room to fit all seven colors I'll just leave one of the colors off it's no big deal the pink color was Wednesdays from Peachy Olive and this gorgeous purple color is Tinkerbell again all these colors must haves Okay, so once you get all of your colors on, I don't forget about the butt. I kind of just sprinkle colors on the butt, no right or wrong. You could like follow your little swirl pattern if you like, but yeah, I'm just gonna, it's the butt of the cup. <laughs> Who likes the butt anyway? Just kidding. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite color palette. I love using all these colors together. Look how beautiful this is. This this baby is big. This is a 32 ounce plump, so it's hard to get her all on the camera from all the different angles, but oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours, and then I'm going to seal it with my Rust-Oleum Clear Spray Sealer. After you seal it, no need to seal multiple times. You, it's okay if your colors blend together a little bit, but since we use the epoxy method, you really shouldn't have too much movement on your glitter. So after you seal it, then I wait about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then I'm going to go in with 60 ml of epoxy. I know that sounds like a lot of epoxy. I did have a little bit of epoxy left over um, that I just threw in a mold, but Remember, guys, this is a 32-ounce plump. She's she's big, okay? And you're always going to use more epoxy on your first coat over raw glitter than any other coat. So, And we, I don't want to have to use two coats of epoxy before we go in and sand. I want a nice, thick coat of epoxy on there. So rub, 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 rub. rub give you a cup a nice little rub down. Really make that epoxy nice and even all the way around your cup. Then we're going to go in and torch any bubbles that you may have. Let this baby turn for two hours and then we'll be ready to move on to our next step. All right, after this girl is nice and dry, we're going to go in and give her a good sandy. She was so smooth, guys. She was so smooth, but we're still going to sand the entire cup down. I took her off the turner, cleaned up the rim with my X-Acto knife, sand down the top rim and the bottom rim really really well we can do an entire tutorial video on just sanding and cleaning rims if that would help you guys leave a comment down below and let us know okay i'm now going to go in with 40 ml of epoxy i'm going to put a nice good layer on my tumbler okay i don't want the epoxy dripping off but you don't want a thin coat you want a nice a decent coat of epoxy on your tumbler, okay? Once you get a nice even layer of epoxy on your tumbler, I'm going to use my leftover epoxy and we are gonna add our micas and our inks to create that white milky part. So when I'm doing like a milky part or if I'm doing waves for my beach tumblers, I love to add mica powder 
and inks, okay? That mica powder just gives it a little shimmer, and I just love the way it looks. So we're going to go in. My white ink that I'm using is from Jen's Crafted Gems. It is a great white. It gets great coverage. I am actually almost out of this, this white already. <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of Cajun Sparkle from Mr. Nola's just to give it that little extra sparkle. You can go in with any white mica powder. They're all about the same, honestly. So whichever one you have on hand, just I just put a little bit on the end of my popsicle stick and then mix it around. Since I am using mica powder, you do want to make sure that you mix that mica in thoroughly because if you don't and you have some that's not mixed, when you add it onto that cup, it's going to create little like craters and little bubbles on your cup because the mica is not mixed all the way through. So I just took about 30 seconds until I create this consistency and all my mica is mixed. Eee, creamy. It's such a pretty color. Okay. Now, when I'm adding my mica to my cup, I drag my popsicle stick all the way from the bottom to the top, okay? Don't stop in the middle of your cup because then you're going to create those little tadpole, hole, tad, tadpole holes, those little tadpole heads, okay? And I personally don't like the way they look. Now, uh, you know, your little strings, they can be all different sizes. You can have some fat ones, skinny ones, but... I just don't like when the mica stops right in the middle and then it creates that fat head and then the skinny tail, like a tadpole. So if that does happen, just take your popsicle stick, break that head up, just drag that popsicle stick. It's okay if it touches the epoxy, don't be scared to touch the cup, and then just dra you know, drag it down. Because sometimes at the rim of your cups too, like the top of your rim, the bottom of your rim, those little, after your cup turns, those little heads can start forming at the top of your cup. So just be on the lookout. Okay, once you get it to where you like it, leave it alone. I know it is so hard to walk away. Also, less is a more, okay? I want to be able to see that glitter shine through my cup. This is like an accent, okay? The cup itself is is the pretty part, right? It's like wearing a gorgeous dress and then wearing too many accessories, right? Wearing like three pairs of hoops and a necklace and two necklaces and your hands, bracelets, rings. No, it's too much, too much, okay? So less is more. Don't just go crazy and start adding, you know, 15, mil <laughs> 15 milliliters of, you know, white milky on your cup. What I like to do is I like to walk away. Walk away from it. Get it on your cup, walk away, come back, check on it 10, 15 minutes later. This was my 10 minute mark right here. So I'm gonna come in and I'm actually adding just a little more and kind of fixing my my little heads that are forming at the bottom and the top. I'm like, yeah, it looks good, it looks good, I like it, I like it. And then leave it be. Leave it be, leave it, oh, let's let it go. Well, you know, let it go, let it go. What is wrong with me? Honestly, what what is what is wrong with me? <laughs> Too much coffee this morning, that's why. Okay, so after you walk away, you come back, you know, make sure everything's good, make sure your cup didn't fall off your turner or anything crazy. Just kidding, I'm not gonna put that bad juju out there. I take it back, I take it back. Okay, walk away. I do not torch my cup because if you add a heat, for one, don't use a torch with inks, but I don't use a heat gun with my inks because I don't want them to move. I, I want them to stay exactly where I put them on the cup. So don't use a heat gun. If you do, it will thin out your lines and then it will start swirling around the cup. And that's not the look we're going for. Oh, let me give you a close up. Look at that shine. Oh my gosh. Look at those colors underneath epoxy. Just gorgeous. Well, I hope this tutorial helped. At this point, I'm going to let this turn for two hours. I will give it a good sand down again, and then I'll go in and add my decal if you want. If you don't want a decal, then you can add your final coat of resin. Let that turn for eight hours, and then you're good to go. I'm not going to add any decal to this because I don't want to take away from this beauty. 
I just think she's gorgeous. So if this tutorial helped, make sure you're in our Misfit Makers group. Check out our Patreon. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.